welcome back guys. New Fire Rising with Grumpy Bob's Emporium. This is Far Cry 4. We last left off. I had finished a campaign mission called Hunt or Be Hunted for Amita. Uh, she's now in charge of the Golden Path. And about to go down here to meet with Badra. Bahadra, Badra, Badra, I don't know. However you pronounce it. To do a campaign mission issued by Amita. I marked this little buzzer here because I think wherever they send me, I'm going to take it unless they send me somewhere I can't take it. Paying respect to the families. I have never seen anything like this. Well, I've never seen anyone carry around their mother's ashes. <laughs> yeah. Do you think my father's funeral was like this? I was too young. But I know his death broke the golden path. Things would be different now, if he died fighting. But he didn't. He was murdered. Murdered? Oh wait, what, what happened? All I know is that he was killed in his house east of Banapur. It's still there. Maybe you could go there and find out more about him. Just be careful. That area belongs to Noah now. Hmm. So my dad was flipping murdered. Good to know. Let's grab these chests. And... Is this a piece of the reading material? Oh, okay, that's what those signs mean. Mohangali's journal. Wait, so was that it? That was the extent of the campaign mission? Let's zoom out here. Campaign mission for Sabal. A mission for Yogi and Reggie. Yuma's Fortress. Norse Fortress. International Airport. Well, shoot, I don't know where she wanted me to go. She said it's north, which is in Norse territory, so I'm presuming that I just have to find it on my own? I guess, maybe. I don't know. This video's only been going for like three minutes. Hey, what? Let's go ahead and try to take out this bell tower. See how much time we have left, then we'll head for Sabal. Um, given that I have this buzzer, I can fly straight there. I should uncover the area around Sabal, and we'll see what's up then. This Rodman, seriously. I could Man, this game is gorgeous. This, but you don't really notice it too much when you're down on the ground. But as soon as you fly up here in the air with one of these buzzers, there's a bell tower up there. I think that's what I own. This random message from Pagan make me laugh. These mountains and trees and you got villages up on the top. I love this buzzer. You can actually hover in place. And you can throw grenades and Molotovs down and stuff. It's a hang glider. I get distracted so easily when I'm flying over these things because you can see so much stuff that you fly past that you almost want to just stop and mess with. I'm not gonna lie, I have a few times, that's for sure. These things have crappy altitude. It'll help a whole ton when you're 
trying to fly through the mountains. You almost have to go around some of the bigger peaks. Alright, here's the bell tower. I wonder if there's room to land this thing on the bell tower. I haven't, I haven't even tried it. There's usually guards of some kind down there. Actually, it looks like there's a few dead people. What do you think the chances are I can land this up there somewhere? Whoa. I guess those guys aren't dead. Oh, good shot. So it didn't get him? Alright, let's change to the gun and see if I can get him back. guy's such a good shot, seriously? Whatever. I don't know how shrapnel gets in your hand when you're being shot at, but... This might end up in suicide. I want to try to land this thing in here. Oh, that is awesome. No, no, don't. What's happening? Well, it might be a one-way trip if those things explode when you land them in here, but still. Note to self, flying a buzzer into a bell tower equals super easy versus climbing the whole thing, which takes like 10 to 15 minutes. Makes me want to just grab a buzzer and fly to a bunch of bu uh, Makes me want to grab a buzzer and fly to a bunch of bell towers just to unlock them. Because that's crazy easy. You usually have to kill the guards, spend 10 to 15 minutes climbing up in there. Question is now Can I get back in this thing? Oh, actually, there's, there's, there's usually loot up here. Here we go. I guess the other ones are down lower on the way up. Really? Can't board it? Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. Taking that tower is a small start, but it is a start, Ajay. And we have you to thank for it. We can finally start reaching allies in the region. Yeah. See, Amita's in charge right now, so that's good to note. Alright, so this tower is upgraded. Got some new things available. Hang glider, gun. There's Sabal. If that was easy enough, it makes me want to fly past Sabal, unlock this bell tower, and then go back to Sabal. That means this whole video might be me talking to Batra bring two towers and then being it, but hopefully we'll have time to see what Sabal wants to. I don't know how long that mission's gonna take. It could take a long time, could take a few minutes. Try to keep these videos under about 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes ish at most. Alright, so there's Sabal. Hopefully flying over him doesn't trigger it. All these black smoke towers are outposts. I, can I don't think I've liberated any outposts other than the one from the main 
the main campaign when they basically made you take it out first in order to, I guess, teach you the concept. Alright, we're already almost in the bell tower. Hopefully it has a decent opening like the last one did. I can fly right in there and free it. Or hijack it or whatever it is you want to call it. This side has a railing, the other side doesn't, so let's go around. I just got spotted. Almost. Come on, baby. You can do it. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Alright, this is the new plan from now on. From now on, fly a buzzer into a tower. Saves me all the trouble of planning it. Anybody else planning on playing this game? This is a tip for you. Grab a buzzer, fly to the tower, land it in the tower. Don't bother climbing the towers. Seriously. They're not difficult so much as just annoying. You gotta find the right rope, climb the side, walk through a little pose, sometimes you fall. Ooh, a tiger versus a bear, that's cool. Now, something you don't get by flying in here is that on the way up, you'll find uh, loot boxes. But at the moment, the world is freshly, or not freshly, but hasn't hardly been discovered right now. There's plenty of stuff for me to loot without having to worry about that. See, I have three skill points now. What do I want? We'll do and take this one. Reduce damage from explosions, since I've been killed by those a few times. Craft a syringe to reduce physical damage and chance of being knocked down by an enemy. Last 30 seconds. I feel like that's very situational. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Climbable edges is to take them down. Switching weapons while and aiming is not much faster. Uh, I don't know. A lot of this stuff feels situational. I got a vehicle takedown, chain takedown. You got to do these side quests. It's kind of annoying. They didn't do this in Far Cry 3. You didn't have to do side quests to unlock abilities in Far Cry 3. But I guess Ubisoft decided they wanted to make you do things. by requiring you to do them in order to unlock all your abilities. Which personally kind of irritates me. Now buy explosive arrows. I tempted to buy uh, gadget training specifically so that I can go buy explosive arrows and stuff. Aim and fire any sidearm while moving a body. That might be helpful. Vehicles can take more damage. I'm just overly underwhelmed by these abilities right now, to be honest. Ring two bells of enlightenment and strongly. Strong I mean. I don't even know what this means. When aiming a bow. Whatever. Okay, so switch weapons and aiming. Gun takedown. Death from below. Sure, why not? And voila. Man, they make that really easy. Keep this up and we'll be broadcasting across the whole region soon and saving them from Pagan Min's life. Yeah, yeah, saving them from the lies. I gotcha. Man. 
is so easy. You know what? I'm gonna save Sabal's mission for a new video for part six or this is part six, isn't it? Yeah, this is part six. I don't know what I'm talking about. For part seven, but a different video anyway. Because we're at about fifteen minutes. He could take fifteen to thirty minutes on his own, depending on the mission and how crappy I play it, because I could fail and have to start it over. And I like to try to get at least the whole mission in one video. Replayable race. Leader awards are also available online. Um, I tell you what. Let's. This is the closest bell tower. Let's fly here. Get this bell tower. That'll probably be it for this video. And then uh, part seven. I will go ahead and we'll play some balls mission. I cannot believe how easy this is to take bell towers using one of these guys. Since there's no fuel limit, if you wanted to take the time, you could pretty much just fly this thing around all across the map, uncover all the bell towers, save you tons of time, and I might do just that. Not right now, but... Right, let's go down... Start getting shot at here in a moment, I think. Yep, I'm getting shot at. So this one's not as easy to land in. There's those walls. We're gonna give a shot. Boom. No! Well, that's bad. Alright, so I landed too close to the edge, and when I got out, I fell. So now I gotta find my way back up. Dang it. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. Alright, so I must have come. If you were climbing, you had to come up at this point. Probably walk around. Huh. Or you could just fall right back to- God, I suck at this sometimes. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, really. Alright. This is the kind of crap I like to avoid by using the buzzer. This little path. Wait, did my buzzer fall? I think the whole buzzer fell, actually. A blow up down there or something. Okay, so I don't, don't have any of those. Whatever, we'll go ahead and get this. I don't know where the buzzer went. I guess it fell, but I don't see any scrap down there. Maybe it exploded. And... STG's free here trading post now. Awesome, you know. It's not like I spent a bunch of money on it or anything. Well, I suppose the map should show me if the buzzer's down there or not. Well, <clears throat> I don't know if it's the same one, but there is one down there. Probably not the same one, since it's over there. That's right, just jump off of here. Ow, son of a... I'm an idiot. 
Well, my original intention was to jump off and use my wingsuit and just glide down to the freaking buzzer. But then he jumps up and grabs a zipline instead, which is not what I wanted to do. Now the buzzer's way over there. Oh, it's not even there anymore. That must have been the one I was using. I don't know how I ended up way over there. That's right, there's one over here. Those good guys are bad guys. Okay, they're blue on the map, so they're good guys. Probably because I liberated this already, so... We'll grab this propaganda. Oh, sweet, there's a karma event. Practice my bow mastery here. Bingo! Typically, karma events will give me uh, like reinforcement tokens, but I'm, very I'm full right now. I haven't had an opportunity that I felt warranted using them. My wallet's almost full. I can only owe 500,000. That's kind of bad news. Alright, so here's my buzzer. Or a buzzer. What's this? Cool. There's a bird randomly dead on the ground. Makes perfect sense. Anyway, I apologize this video wasn't more entertaining, I suppose. Um, I did talk to Padre, I thought it was going to be longer than that, but hey, we learned a new trick. Fly a buzzer into a bell tower much quicker than climbing it, if you can handle it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys checking this out. Uh, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to Gumbry Bob's Emporium. Uh, anyway, if you haven't played Far Cry 4 or you're really wanting to, come on into Grumpy Bob's Emporium in Maryville. Trade in some used games, trade in some movies, whatever the heck you want for in-store credit or cash. Pick up a copy of Far Cry 4 and come over and play it yourself. I'm having a blast with this so far. and Hopefully you guys look forward to some more videos. And our review will be coming out shortly. Um, this coming Tuesday is Assassin's Creed Unity review. And then following that, I will be doing the Far Cry 4 review. So keep an eye out for either of those things. Anyway, I will see you next time when we do uh, Sabal's mission.